Alright, so let's turn our, our Bible. Today is June 26. So, ang babasahin po natin ay Proverbs chapter 26. Ilang mga talata po itong babasahin natin? Uh, I'd like us to discuss this morning and uh, to give you warning. Beware of troublemakers. Beware of troublemakers. Proverbs 26 verse 17. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. Verse 19. So is the man that receiveth his neighbor and saith, Am I not in sport? Verse 20. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out, so where there is no tail better, the strife ceaseth. Verse 21. As coals are to burning coals, and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. Verse 24. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips, and layeth up deceit within him. Verse 27. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Last verse, verse 28. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Beware of troublemakers. Good morning, my beautiful sister-in-law, uh, Ma'am Linda Gutierrez from Antipolo City. And at advance, ha? advance na, advance happy birthday sa iyong beautiful daughter na si Joanne. Am I correct? Birthday ni Joanne tomorrow. Yan. Okay. So, beware of troublemakers. Diba madalas nababasa natin, beware of dogs. <laughs> and, uh, minsan may nabasa pa ako, beware of the owner. Forget the dog. Tapos may nakatuktok na pa rin. <laughs> but here, seriously, ang sabi ng Bible sa atin, beware of troublemakers. I will give you seven troublemakers. So, medyo magmamadali po tayo. Ah, si Jonalyn! Oh, si Jonalyn pala, tama. Medyo tumatanda na talaga ako, Tilinda. <laughs> si Jonalyn ang may birthday bukas. Happy birthday, Jonalyn. Advance. Okay. So, these troublemakers ay nakalista dun sa mga talata na bilasan natin. And we will start from uh, the bottom up. Okay? Sisimula po tayo sa pinaka-huli hanggang sa pinaka-una. You see, life can be enjoyable, peaceful, and quiet. But there are some people who would, who would never let you enjoy life and be happy. These are the troublemakers. These are people who love to cause pain and fighting among men. They are troublemakers talaga. Men and women, you should avoid and beware. Because making and creating troubles seem to be in their DNA and runs in their blood. They love and always engage in conflicts, debates, fights, grudges, and strife with others whom they blame. Be aware of them and beware of these troublemakers. Quarrels and disagreements would either not occur or would have quickly ended. But these contentious troublemakers stir up fights and keep fighting with almost anyone. Who are these troublemakers? Ayan. Ipipoint po natin isa-isa mula sa ating mga key verses so that it will serve as a warning. And don't tell me na hindi kita na warningan. I hope if you have this kind of uh, people in your circle of friends that you will be more than careful. Number one, the flatterers. The flatterers. Sabi po sa verse 28, A lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. These are expert at praising others, but with malicious intent. Sabi po ni Webster, Flattery is described as to praise excessively, especially from motives of self-interest. Beware of these people. Do not believe every compliment they tell you. Not because the compliments 
they tell you may not be true, but because they might be showering you with compliments and praises so that they may win your hearts and favor to their advantage. And before you know it, you will find yourself in the middle of a mess they have created and you will be obliged to take their sides. You see, flatterers love to lie about everything just to afflict and ruin people. And they are using you. That's why they are flattering you so that they can get you to be on their side. Number two, the diggers. The diggers. Sabi po sa verse 27, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. These are men and women out there that often has difficulties with others and they will never be happy unless they can find something about you to destroy you. Yes, they are trying to get close to you and would do everything in their power until they can find out something about you that they can use against you. Good morning, Sister Nori. Good morning, Sister Shen. Good morning, Brother Jojo. Ayan. Thank you. Nakahabol kayo. So, they will dig in your past. They will dig in your private life. They will dig in your personal weaknesses. And they will use what they will find about you to destroy you, your image and influences, and your intimate friendship with other people. Ingat kayo rito sa mga diggers. Ha? Hindi gold diggers, ha? Iba pa yon. Yung diggers of your personal life. Yung diggers of your past. Yung diggers of your private life. Kasi gusto nilang gamitin yan against you to destroy your image, to destroy your influence, and to destroy your intimate relationship with your friends and other loved ones. So, these are rampants in politics. Nakikita natin yan sa politics and in show business. Diba? Meron nga sila yung parang mga paparazzi. Na kahit saan ka pumunta, sinusundan ka, kinukunan ka ng picture ng palihim, ng patago. Nagkahanap sila ng ibubutas sa iyo. These troublemakers will not stop until they succeeded in digging a hole for you and bury you there. So, be careful with the diggers. Be careful with the flatterers who will flatter you so they can win your favor and your heart so you will take side on them when they are in trouble. Be careful with the diggers who will dig a hole for you and bury you there, all your private life, all your past, all your personal uh, life. They will dig and use it against you. Then, the third, the haters. The haters. Sa Facebook, madalas nababasa nyo yan, di ba? Haters gonna hate. Sabi <laughs> but there are really people who are like that. Sabi po sa Proverbs 26 verse 24, He that hateth dissembleth with his lips, and layeth up deceit within him. These troublemakers eat you for breakfast, eat you for lunch, eat you for dinner. Maraming ganito sa church. And they eat the pastor. <laughs> ang pastor ang kanilang almusal, ang pastor ang kanilang tanghalian, ang pastor ang kanilang uh, hapunan. At pagka minamalas-malas yung pastor, siya pa rin ang merienda at midnight snack. You see, these people are haters. They hate your guts. Simply, for no reason. They always talk about you and against you. A little here and a little there, they will always have something evil to say against you. It is impossible for haters not to hate. They love strife to consistently follow good people while the rest of the world live in relative peace with one another. Napaka-unfair nito mga haters na ito kasi gusto nila sila lang ang masaya. Ayaw nilang maging masaya ka. They want the world to be happy but not you. <laughs> They hated you without a cause, simply because they envy you. Naalala nyo, di ba yung mga Pharisees ganyan kay Jesus Christ? Kaya nga sabi, ang prophetic uh, words tungkol kay Jesus Christ is, They hated me without a cause. And who are they? They are the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and all the religious leaders during the time of Jesus Christ. Kasi naiinggit sila kay Lord Jesus Christ because He has the people following Him. You see, these people are envious of your good image, influences, 
and intimate relationships with other people. Because no one can get along with them for long because of their bad attitudes. Sabi po sa Bible, He that hateth dissembleth with his lips. That word dissembleth, as Webster defined it, is to dissemble means to hide under a false appearance. Ito ang matindi. They hated you, but not in front of you. Siyempre naman, pagka nakaharap ka dyan, pa-smile-smile sa'yo yan. Oh, pahalo, hello, pahay, hi, minsan bumibeso-beso pa. Pero ingat kayo kasi pag natalikod kayo, bigla na lang kayo sasaksakin yan. They are backbiters. Mm-hmm. Pangapat, the kindlers. Meron tayong flatterers, meron tayong diggers, meron tayong haters. Ngayon, the kindlers. Sino itong mga kindlers? Sabi po sa 26, Proverbs 26.21, As coals are to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to, kin- to kindle strife. Ito po yung mga taong dapat lalo nating pakaingatan. They bounce from church to church. They wear out their welcome. They have few devoted friends na nauuto nila because they always kindle misunderstanding to a fight and they can destroy families, friendship, and future. Ingat po tayo sa mga ito. That word kindle means far starter. Oh, sila yung nagsisimula ng apoy para sa yung families, para sa yung friendship at para sa yung future. Gusto nilang sunugin lahat ng mga bagay na mahal sa iyo at pinahahalagaan mo. Because these people, many churches were divided. Totoo 'yan. I've seen a lot of churches. Kahit doon sa church na pinagpastoran ko, nagkaroon ng division. Bakit? Dahil dito sa mga kindlers na ito. Yung konting, alam nyo yun, para mga bata yan, eh, alam nyo yung mga bata, makakita lang ng konting papel, si sunugin, si silaban, hanggang lumaki. Di ba? Oh. Baby Christians, they won't grow up. Sana nga Christian sila, baka <laughs> hindi nga Christian eh. You see, sabi sa Bible, in uh, binasa natin verse 21, there are two similes in this verse, as shown by the use of, quote and quote, as. Sabi po rito, coals added to burning coals cause a fire to increase. In other words, wood added to a fire makes it hotter and larger. Yun ang gusto nila eh. Mga ano yan eh, mga tawag dito sa Tagalog, mga magaling mansusog. Oo, magaling mansusog yung mga yan. Konting bagay lang oh, nakakita sa magkapatid na medyo nagkairingan, sususuga nila. Mm-hmm. Gagatungan, yun. Magaling mang gatong yung mga yan. Oo. Oh. Narinig lang nila isang member na sabi, bakit si ganun si pastor? Bakit? Anong problema? Gagatungan na nila yun. Hanggang sa iyo, miyembro, imbis na ang, ang kanya lang naman, may concern lang naman siya tungkol sa isang bagay, pero yung concern naging hatred. Kasi ginatungan niya eh. Ingat kayo sa mga taong ganito. They always start arguments, conflicts, debates, quarrels with almost everyone. They are proud and wants to fight everybody. Pero siyempre, palihim. <laughs> yung problema sa mga to hindi naman marunong humarap to eh. Hindi naman yan lalapit sa'yo. At uh, yung kamukha na sinabi ni Jesus, ni Jesus Christ, ng ating Panginoon, na if anyone have oath against anybody, go to him and him alone and talk to him in person. Hindi naman ganyan to mga taong to eh. Lagi itong palihim, palihis, patago. Kasi nga, alam nila, yung kanilang ginagawa, hindi maayos. So, panglima, the tail bearers. Sino naman tong mga tail bearers? Kung yung kindlers ay fire starter, itong tail bearers, ito yung fire spreader. Oho. Ang bilis nitong magpala, magpakalat ng apoy. Oh, umapoy do sa isang sulok, sinimulan ni kindler. Ito na ngayon si tail bearer. Ipagkakalat na yon. Hoy, alam niyo ba? Oh, nabalitaan mo na ba? Narinig mo ba yung pinag-usapan? Ay, crowd. Ayan, yan yung mga tail bearer. Sabi po sa atin sa verse 20, Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceaseth. Yung sinimulan ni fire starter, yung sinimulan ni kindler, hindi naman dapat lalaki. 
kayang-kaya pang supilin. Kaya lang si, si, si Kindler, hindi siya nagtatrabaho mag-isa. Kadalasan si Kindler kasama si Tailbearer. Si Kindler yung magsisimula, parang parang rumble lang yan eh. Nakasama na ba kayo sa rumble? <laughs> Ako nung kabataan niya, kami ni na RJ, ang aking kapatid. Si Pastor Ferdy Marasiga, nung hindi pa kami mga mana ng palataya. Napasubo kami sa rumble eh. Oho. Sa rumble, alam nyo ba, may isang nagsisimula ng gulo. Merong starter. Yung unang mananapak, yung unang maninipa. Yung nagsisimula ng gulo. Pero kadalasan, meron yung tinatawag na heater. Siya na ngayon yung magpapainit ng labanan. Oho. So, ganito yan. Yung kindler ang tagasimula ng rumble at yung tailbearer ang heater na lalong nagpapainit ng labanan sa pamamagitan na ikinakalat niyang chismis. So, tailbearers make the mess messier. They are whisperers going from house to house. Gusto mag-visitation yung mga yan at sipag-sipag. Pagdating sa gossips, ang sipag-sipag. They are spreading gossips when they should have been spreading the gospel. Oho. Pag pinagbibisita ng pastor yan sa miyembro, naku po, kawawa ang pastor. Dahil wala nang, wala nang sinabi doon sa binisita ng miyembro, kundi against sa pastor. Dapat sa mga yan, pag tumu- kumakatok sa bahay nyo, huwag nyo pagbuksan. O ano na naman, may dala ka na naman balita. Anong balita yan? Kung hindi yan yung good news, eh, fake news yan. <laughs> Oo po, huwag nyo pong patulan yung mga yan. Kasi yung mga tail bearers, yan po yung, they will burn you out. They will burn you out. Imbes, imbes na ma-bless kayo, they will burn you out. Kasi ang kanilang laging dalang balita ay disputes, fights, and bad blood. Bad blood. Alam nyo, when wicked men like this stop spreading innuendos, rumors, and negative information, mas magiging maganda ang ating komunidad at ang ating mga churches. A fire goes out as soon as there is nothing more to burn. ba? Diba? Obserbahan nyo yung papel. Sila ba nyo? Mamamatay naman agad dyan eh, pagka wala nang susunugin. Pero anong ginagawa ng tail bearers? Ginagatungan. Kaya humahaba. Sabi ng Bible, sana natapos na yung strife. Kaya lang may dumating na tail bearer. Kaya sa relasyon ng mga mag-asawa, relasyon ng magkaibigan, relasyon ng magkakasama sa churches, hindi matapos-tapos ang gulo at hindi maputol-putol ang usapan at hindi maayos ang hidwaan dahil sa mga tail bearer na ito. Ingat kayo sa kanila. They are spreading injurious and malicious reports about another person commonly called gossip. So let's move on. The deceivers. Nasa pang-anim na tayo. The flatterers. Diba? Pagkatapos, uh, the diggers. Tapos, the haters. Tapos, the kindlers. Tapos, the tail bearers. Good morning, Pastor Paul Malabanan. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you. Opo, yan. Sa Palapala Kabite. Am I right? Oh. So, thank you for joining us, Pastor Malabanan. Dr. Paul Malabanan. Christ Bible Baptist Church. Okay, so, nasa pang-apat po tayo, the deceivers. Sino naman itong mga deceivers na ito? Ito yung mga maluloko. Ito yung mga, kala mo, walang masamang intention kasi mahilig lang ito sa mga panluloko. Yung making joke out of anything, making joke out of everybody, yung akala mo eh harmless eh kasi nagpapatawa lang naman, joker lang, joker lang, joke, 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 nagpaprank lang sila. Pero, ingat din kayo ha, kasi minsan yung paggawa nila ng joke, eh para sirain ka, para i-demoralize ka, para ipahiya ka sa harap ng mga tao, and that will start trouble. This foolish generation we now live in make joke for entertainment. Primetime sitcoms are one continuous stream of deceptions and jokes at which a studio audience laughs on cue, sell the insanity to mindless and heartless viewers. Lahat na lang pinagtatawanan nila at hindi na nakakatawa. They use deception. It is hard to grasp 
Solomon's sober and severe warning, since modern man love such foolishness and is ignorant of sobriety. Wala sa kanilang marunong sumiriyaw so eh. Kahit kinakausap mo ng mga ayos, lahat puro paloko, puro patawa. No, I love you. I love I love humor. Ako masayahin akong tao at natutuwa ako sa mga clean wholesome jokes. Oo. Kahit minsan medyo okay, medyo <laughs> nagiging ano rin, pero kapag ka ang pinagtatawa na na ay yung tao at yung kanyang buhay, hindi yan nakakatawa. Huwag nating gawing katatawanan ang pagkakamali at ang pagkukulang ng ibang tao. When you joke with those people because of their weaknesses and because of their failures and because of their uh, past, hindi po yan maganda. You see, Solomon is warning us of these people who make a prank of almost everything. Minsan, di ba, gagayahin si pastor. Kunyari, kayang-kaya niyang gayahin si pastor, pero the truth of the matter is gusto niyang pagtawanan si pastor. Oo nga, no? May habit nga si pastor na ganyan, ano? Oo nga, no? O minsan, pati yung lakad ng pastor, ginagawang kalokohan. O. Ay, lagi ko lang po na example yung pastor kasi mas malapit niya kung saan tayo nakatira. Oho. Pero these, these people have no sense of respect, no sense of regard, for authority, and for everything that has value. Ang ginagawa nga nila, dinidevalue nila yung personality at karakter ng isang tao by making fun of it. Ingat po tayo sa mga taong ganito. And last, pito po, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? The meddlers. The meddlers. Sino naman itong mga meddlers? Sabi po sa Proverbs 26, verse 17, He that passeth by and meddleth with strife, belonging not to him, is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. Itong mga meddlers na ito, ito parang ano to eh, parang ito yung mga hilig sumali sa gulo na hindi naman nila gulo. Hilig sumali sa away na hindi naman nila away. Sabi, halimbawa sila sa tao na that taketh a dog by the ear. Hindi ho magandang gawain ang mag-meddle. Tinuturoan tayo sa Bible to mind our own business. Basahin niyo po ang sulat ni Paul sa mga taga-Tesalonica. Ang sabi niya sa kanila ay magtrabaho sila in chapter 3, verse 11 to 12. Basahin ko ha. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busy bodies. Now them that are such we command and exhort, but our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. Ano po yung busy bodies? Ano pinagkaiba nito sa gossipers? Ito pong busy bodies. Ito yung wala naman silang kinalaman doon sa usapin. Sa usapin eh, sausaw ng sausaw. Pinag-uusapan nila yung problema ni Juan de la Cruz at ni Maria Makiling. Samantalang wala naman silang kinalaman doon. O. Oh. Tapos darating si Tailbearer, gagatong. Naman si Kindler naman, sisimulan yan. Ipapakalat ni Tailbearer. O. Oh. Tapos pagtatawa na naman, gagawin katatawa na, gagawin joke. Nitong si, ano nga ang pangalan niya? Si Deceiver. Oh. Mag-ingat po tayo. You know, let us respect others, other men's privacy. If it's not our business, then huwag tayo, ah, lalo na sa mga pastors, ah, my fellow pastors. May nanirig kayo tungkol sa isang pastor. Hindi nyo naman kilala yung pastor. O sabihin na natin, kilala nyo. Pero hindi naman kayo close. At yung balitang narinig mo, hindi naman confirm. Wala ngang eyewitness eh. Narinig niya lang rin sa iba. Lalapit sa'yo, sabihin, Oy, atin-atin lang to ha, pag-pray mo lang. Pag-pray mo lang, kaya ako sasabihin sa'yo. Pero, nabalita mo na ba yung tungkol kay pastor ganito? Oh. Anong kinalaman mo doon? At ano ba ang gagawin mo pagkatapos mong malaman? Tutulong ka ba? O dadagdag ka lang sa mga tatapak dun sa karangalan ng isang manggagawa ng Diyos? Maging maingat po tayo. Minsan may mga pastor nagpe-fellowship pa, nagmi-meeting pa, nagpapatawag pa ng kung ano-ano mga meeting para 
Kala mo naman kung anong pag-uusapan sa Biblia, yun pala, pag-uusapan lang yung buhay ng isang pastor. Kaya ako po, bata pa lang ako, tumigil na ako sa kaatin ng mga ganyang fellowship. Eh. Ang sakit sa ulo, when you meddle with other men's matter. Let us keep, sabi nga po, let us keep ourselves preoccupied with the task na ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Huwag po tayong mag sa buhay ng may may buhay. So examine yourself. Baka mamaya sinasabi ko, iwasan natin itong mga taong ito. Yung pala, baka tayo yung dapat iwasan. O baka naman kaya wala tayong maka-fellowship na kung hindi pa tayo magpapatawag ng fellowship na may kainan ay eh dahil wala nang gusto makipag-fellowship sa atin. O, iba mga pastor, basta <laughs> libre lunch, o, tapos may mga regalo, punta ka agad. Kahit na ang pag-uusapan doon ay hindi Bible, kundi buhay ng may buhay. Mga young preachers, wag ho kayong ganyan. Kung nakikita nyo sa mga nakatatanda, eh, mali po yun. Huwag na lang, huwag na lang, huwag na lang tularan. Ha? Mas maging focus kayo na patatagin nyo ang inyong samahan bilang mga pastor, bilang mga kabataang pastor. Huwag kayong magsiraan, magsugatan, at magsungitan. Lahat ng kapwa manggagawa sa Panginoon ay may halaga. Sila'y tinawag ng Panginoon para sila ay maging kamang gagawa. At kayo rin mga miyembro, kayo rin mga kristyano, huwag niyong pag-away-away ng mga pastor. Huwag niyong gawing mga parang teksya na cha 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 ob <laughs> Yan ang problema ng church sa Corinth, di ba? Pinagsasabong-sabong nila yung kanila mga naging pastor, mga naging speakers. Sabi po ng Bible, comparing one another is not wise. Each pastor, each man of God, each servant of the Lord, each of us have our own gifts to be used for His glory. Hindi para pag-usap-usapan natin at pagtalon-talonan natin. Kung may nakita kang diferensya sa akin, then the best thing you can do for me is pray for me. Hindi yung ipagkakalat mo sa iba, sasabihin mo, alam mo si pastor, mayroon pang ganito, ganito, ganito. Ganon din naman ako. I have no business destroying other men's reputation. Kung tayo'y kristyano, we are to build people. We are to help people. We are to mending relationships, not destroying them. Ito, siluduhan ko at hinangahan ko to. Hindi niya sinabi sa akin to diretso. Narinig ko to from other pastor. And he, he was talking about Uh, this man. Nung tinanong niya yung tao na ito, sabi niya, ano, bishop, sa palagay mo, magbabawas ba tayo ng kaibigan o magdadagdag tayo ng kaibigan? At ang sagot sa kanya ni bishop, hindi tayo magbabawas ng kaibigan, magdadagdag tayo ng kaibigan. And that's the best thing to do. Okay? Build friendship. Build families. Build the future. Ang future po ng ating Christianity ay wala sa pag-aaway-away nating mga Kristiyano. Sabi nga po ni Jesus Christ in John chapter 13, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Hindi if you love to be the one and not the other. Okay. May dagdag ng kaibigan. Tama po, Pastor Ferdy Kunanan. At saludo ako sa iyo dyan, sapagkat ikaw ay isa rin tunay na kaibigan. Alright, God bless you. Have a great God day. And I hope this has been a uh, reminder to us and a challenge. And if you are not yet sure of your salvation, please Trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Read the Bible. Find out the answer. Don't take my word for it. Read the Bible. At makikita mo, sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. The whole Bible was written so that you might get to know Jesus Christ as your Savior. God bless. Have a great God day. Salamat po.